I feel like we are headed towards defeat. Oh no, Nick Fuentes isn't feeling good about the future of conservative politics in America. And by conservative politics, I mean the alt-right. And I think this is a sentiment which is shared by almost anybody who's not on the Trump camp, which is that unless we get really, really lucky or unless something significant changes, we are most likely going to lose. And it just doesn't feel the same. It doesn't feel like it did in 2016. It doesn't feel like it did in 2020. And it's more than just an intangible sensation. There's no momentum. There's no enthusiasm. There's no excitement. Everybody is absolutely demoralized. It feels like the left is unstoppable. And all those feelings are valid. It's funny because this clip shows that there is actually no self-reflection with regards to the conservative movement. Nick Fuentes is saying, well, oh, people aren't excited. Well, is it possible that people aren't excited because they don't like what you're offering? Do you think this should be a Christian country? Oh, I do. I do. We were founded on God and <laughs> Democrats are taking them away taking them out of the school. How about reconciling separation of church and state, which we were founded on? And I don't think that's right. I do not think that's right. They should have never did that. Why would you take something as beautiful as America that we founded God on? We founded America on God. Why would you try to destroy that and take it out of the schools and try to teach our children well, something that's... That's what I mean about separation of church and state. That's, it is, shouldn't be, though. God should be... We should be able to say in Jesus' name, you know, and I, I don't care what, what religion you are, because if we unite and come together as all in one, they'll find the true God. You know, let's say I'm a Jewish dad and I send a Jewish kid, my Jewish daughter to school and she's made to pray to somebody else's God. Is that, do you see that as constitutional? If I was the father and I didn't want her to pray to somebody else's God, I would take her out of that school. But what if it's a public school? And I would take her out of the public school. And then what are his options? Homeschool. So if, you, so, so if you don't believe in Jesus, homeschooling is probably better? It's better. Why don't people believe in Jesus? You come to this country, accept our beliefs, accept what we are, accept who we are, or don't come. And that's not to be mean. It's just to say, don't come here and try to change our country to your beliefs. That's what I see them trying to do. This is actually kind of funny for Nick Fuentes to say, the left is this unstoppable force, given how... The Democrats have terrible messaging. Like, I've said this a million times before, like bad messaging. He's saying like, we're this unstoppable force in spite of all of that. It really goes to show that you actually have to have a plan for your party moving forward. Transphobia, xenophobia, homophobia, that's only gonna get you so far, right? And this is really funny given how Elon bought Twitter and let all of the alt-right, all of the anti-vaxxers, all of these people back on board. I mean, they're just having just a love fest on Twitter. I mean, Twitter is just now the new Facebook, uh, thanks to Elon, right? So for them not to get it together, given that they have taken this incredibly large platform and the For You page of Twitter is just Matt Walsh and transphobes all day Whew, it's saying a lot so i'm gonna say it now and you're never gonna hear me say this ever again i really hope nick fuentes is right i i really do uh i said it oh okay i'm gonna go scrub myself until i bleed and wash my mouth yeah i feel icky